Hello guys! In today's video, we're going to check out the Astro A20 gaming headset. They're one of my favourite gaming headsets out there, so I decided to make a video just about them. If you want to see their most up-to-date price and find out more information about these, you can check out the links in the description. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest technology news. OK, let's get started with the video. Astro is a popular brand amongst gaming peripherals, and they're known to make expensive but high-quality gaming headsets for PC, Xbox and PlayStation. The A20 is the upgraded version of the older A10 model, which came into the market very strong when it was released. The Astro A10 is a budget model of the A20, just like the A20s are a budget model of the A50s. The headset has big and rectangular ear cups which connect to the headband on a strut that can be slided up and down to adjust the size based on your requirements. The left ear cup of this headset holds the microphone, which is on a flexible rubber arm. It can be moved up and down, and when you move it upward, it will automatically mute the microphone. On the right ear cup, you'll find the volume wheel and the power and EQ buttons. They're decently comfortable headphones, but the ear cups do not swivel, which makes them a bit tight on the head. The fit may loosen over time, just like with shoes, but it'll take a little time to get used to them. Don't worry though, because they're well padded and covered in a microfiber coating that feels good on the skin. They definitely look like gamer headphones, with bright green accents and an elaborate design, but they don't look bad by any means. They're not designed to be taken outside like some other headsets, as they have no 3.5mm jack and no detachable mic. They're pretty bulky and can be considered to be heavier than most of the headsets out there, so taking them with you for a trip can be pretty annoying unless you have a bag or a backpack, since these headphones don't come with their own carrying case like some other models. That shouldn't be a huge problem though, because I personally never take my gaming headphones out of the room. The Astro A20 comes with a transmitter which has an LED light on the top of it which lets you know the status of the headset. It would be great if they made it so you could also see which mode the headset is in, such as Xbox or PC mode. This isn't a huge drawback though, but it's worth noting. On the back of the transmitter, you'll find a micro USB port for connecting it to the Xbox or the PC, a USB port for charging the headset, and last but not least, a console PC mode switch. The microphone is a controversial thing on this headset. I personally like it and I think it does the job as it should, but we notice that it can pick up some background noises which can be annoying. However, I think that no one really cares about that too much while playing video games. If you plan to use the microphone for professional stuff like recording audio, then I wouldn't recommend this headset. But for gaming, this microphone is definitely good enough, and I don't think you'll ever face any problems with it. The Astro A20s have been given the gaming headset name, but they perform exceptionally well when it comes to handling music. They have a bass-heavy audio profile and it has the EQ button, which lets you switch between a pro profile that emphasizes lows and high mids for gaming, and a studio profile that boosts the lows and highs for generally the best musical response. The best thing is that if you know about music, you can make your own audio profile on the software with a five-band equalizer. When it comes to gaming, the audio is pretty good. I've tested them with a few PC and Xbox games, and I can say that they're pretty similar to the SteelSeries Arctis 7, but they have a slight difference in bass, and that's in a good way. What I didn't really like about the Astro A20s is that their noise isolation is terrible. This won't be a problem for you if you plan to play games in your room alone, but if you go to LAN events and play games on crowded places, you'll have trouble with them because of their low volume. You won't be able to properly hear what's happening in the game. You can avoid that by raising the volume on your headset, but that would also make them leak audio, which can be distracting to the people around you. That's why, if you plan to buy a headset for playing in crowded places, you should look for something else. I mentioned that the A20 is a budget version of the A50. The A20 isn't nearly as plush nor as solid as the metal A50 and doesn't have as much low-end power, but at half the price it still offers excellent sound which definitely makes up for most of its lacking features. They can easily be compared to the SteelSeries Arctis 7, because in my opinion they both have similar features and sound the same, so if you've tried the Arctis 7 before, you'll know what you'll be getting, more or less. Overall, I would say that it's a great headset which is definitely worth the price, especially if you play on consoles and computers. 
They are durable and will probably last you longer than some other headphones you've had before. So, I definitely recommend them to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.